Hi and welcome everybody. Today I'm going to be talking about PowerPoint 2016 and how to work with numbered and bulleted lists. I'm going to go over everything that you're going to need to know for PowerPoint 2016. So let's go ahead and get started. So right here I see this is my slide and within this placeholder I want you to take a look at these bullets here. Alright we can see that this bulleted list is already set up because in the home tab paragraph group, I can see that the bulleted list is shaded. So I'm going to show you how to format and set up these bullets. So we can see that I have what are called first list level bullets right here. All right, Intensity, hang time, and last chance. Now these are called first list level because they're on the furthest to the left. Okay, And just so you know, these are your first le list level. Everything else is called a second list level. All right, As you move more to the right, it becomes first, second, third, so on and so forth. If you ever want to increase or decrease your list level, you could go to the Home tab, Paragraph group, and then Increase list level and Decrease list level. All right. Now you can see here, if I click that, it'll just line up everything because I increased the list level. And if I decrease it, again, it'll move back to the left. All right, so that's a little bit about your list levels. Now what I want to do is actually change this to a numbered list. Okay. So if I want to change this to a numbered list, first again, I highlight all three of them. All right. Now keep in mind I'm holding down control as I did that because I wanted to select those three. And now I'm going to change it to a numbered list. This is in the Home tab, Paragraph Group, and you click Numbering. And we see that we now have a numbered first list level and then a bulleted second list level. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to change all of the second list level options or bullets here to star bullets. So let's say I want to change these ones here. I'm going to highlight, hold down Control, highlight, hold down Control, highlight, hold down control, select all of my second list level items. Now I can actually customize the way that these bullets look. So I'm going to go to home tab, paragraph group, and I'm going to go right up here to bullets. I can see it's already shaded. And then I'm going to click that little arrow next to bullets. I do that and now I can choose different types of bullets. So if you don't like the default bullet or whatever bullet that you have on your PowerPoint slide, you can choose the bullet that you like right there. So I'm going to choose star bullets. All right, so I chose the star bullets, but what happens if I want to actually change the color of the bullets? Well, I could do that as well. So if I go to the Home tab, Paragraph group, and again, click that little arrow next to the bullets, I could click that, and I could go down right here to Bullets and Numbering. That's going to give me a lot more options with these bullets. The Bullet and Numbering dialog box will appear, and then you can see that you could change the size of the bullets right here. You could actually make your uh, bullets into a picture of your choice. And you can even further customize the bullets within this pane. What I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to change the color of the bullets. So I'm going to change it, let's say, to this column right here. And I'm going to choose the fourth color down right there. Aqua Accent 1, lighter 40%. All right, now it's just a little bit lighter of a bullet. And the change won't take place until I click OK. But if you look over here, when I click OK, you'll see the color of the bullets did change right there. All right, so that is uh, the tutorial on bullets and numbering. I hope that it helped you out a little bit about explaining the list levels first off, which is very important, and then also how to customize your bullets and numbering. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Other than that, if you have a video request, put it in the comment section, and thank you so much for watching.